This video is sponsored by Tiege Hanley. Batman. The mortal who through hard work, willpower, and a touch of madness was able to become one of the biggest superheroes of all time and is now respected by even gods and monsters. Truly an inspiration to most for the mere fact that this human being is able to accomplish monumental feats that has put him on the same pedestal of formidable as his meta-powered counterparts. Well, within reason. They've been wiling out in the comics with that just a human excuse for a while now, and it's more than likely Batmite put a protection spell around him to help him pull off some asinine feats. Tell the truth. But as the bat has been labeled just a human for years now, he has inspired countless people to better themselves with fitness training, studying to improve the mind, and of course good old fashioned martial arts. There's even been books written on how it would be to actually become Batman in real life, though your pocketbook probably wouldn't like it. So let's say hypothetically you did it. You actually did all the training, now you're going out to fight crime like Batman. What do you need? The suit. But as we've seen over the years, there's been many different bat suits in live action. And so I decided to break it down of which suit would be actually best in our world for offense, defense, and maneuverability, but also of course, how they would fare against hands, blades, and guns realistically. Though I wanna make this clear, I'm saying our world here, not those movie worlds, because realistically, if you did this, or this, you ain't walking that off. But before we get too into the video today, we are sponsored by Tiege Hanley. You wanna be an attractive ladies man like Bruce, you wanna not only focus on training, being charismatic, and making sure your bank account ain't in the same condition as Joker originally leaving Jason Todd as he did, but having a good grooming routine does so much for you. I've been using Tiege Hanley for the last two years, and as a 32 year old male, it makes a bit of difference in taking care of yourself. All you gotta do is follow the instructions, wash your face in the morning and night, and you'll start noticing the differences pick up. If you're new to skincare, I say start with a level one system, which comes with all the basics of a daily face wash, to get rid of all the dirt and grime on your skin so your skin stays looking young like a Saiyan for long periods of time. Subscribers will not only get a great fantastic 20% off the retail price at any time and free shipping to the US, but it will also improve yourself so much. Just click the link in the description right down below and you'll get 30% off your order today. Click in the link right there, check it out. Now back to the video to get you built like Bruce. So let's go over five, though technically six, bat suits we've seen in live action and how effective they would actually be in real life if you tried to like fight people in them and like fight crime and do all this stuff like Bruce is doing. Starting with the goat himself. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. Now Adam West, while not the first live action Batman, is definitely an icon. This bat suit is pretty much a Halloween costume in simplicity, but also quite mobile. For offense, if you're an adept martial artist, you could fight pretty easily wearing it, with the only worry being if it would rip, but it wouldn't necessarily restrict movements. For my workout series, Tough Like the Tunes, I've worked out and moved around in various costumes, materials, etc. over the years, so I know firsthand the main issue would be getting sweaty after a couple hours. Now on the defense side, because it's skin tight and didn't need armor or fake muscles, just... And I didn't need molded plastic to improve my physique. Pure West. Now, unless you're Adam West yourself, defensively in real life, this isn't gonna do much for you and you get hurt pretty easily. Maneuverability though, because of how flexible it is, it'd be actually pretty easy to move around and dodge in if you're like trying to like go against someone. <laughs> But how does it fare against weapons? If it's just hands and you're an adept fighter, then you got this, all right? You can piece them up like that. If it's blades, you're in danger. If it's a gun, you're done, just like the DC universe. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I trust James Gunn fully, to be honest. I love the Guardians films, and I love that he gave me a true live action street shark, so I complete faith in him, especially Superman. Here are the scores for this suit. But next, let's look at the Burton Schumacher suits, which stay relatively the same across the films, just with some minor differences. One of my personal favorite designs since childhood, and I love the yellow bat symbol on black. It's just immaculate. And our boy is legit rocking that black Air Force energy, so you already know he a menace. Though, due to the strict rubber, it's not really easy to move in realistically. So unless you got bombs on your fist, like Mike Tyson, Francis Ngannou, or Phoenix Jet, nah, nah, you fell to the dark side, Brad, never mind. This isn't the easiest to get multiple punches and kicks in offensively, so it's not the best. Defensively, it's greatly durable and can handle and pounding. Pause. And maneuverability wise, what do y'all think? Bro has to move his entire body to turn his neck. That is just asking for trouble and would burn you in the first night. Then onto our weapons test. Hands, you know, it'd be pretty good at eating some punches like you're wearing pads in MMA. Blades, good defense against slashing, but longer blades and deeper stabs could give trouble. And guns, it's basically bulletproof, so you're solid as long as you know you don't pop them in the mouth. Honestly, realistically, it would just be a terrible idea in general to have your mouth showing at all when doing this. Here are the scores for this suit. 
Next up, Bale. Swear to me! Now when we first see this Batman, he starts off with just a glorified burglar suit and gradually makes the beast we see today. The first bat suit is pretty much an advanced version of the Keaton suit, letting you move around and punch with more dexterity. And design wise, I love this suit, I just wish we had some more yellow around the bat symbol. On the offense side though, the first suit would actually be a bit of a detriment because it's so heavy and you also can't turn your head in it like the original suits. All that would slow you down immensely. Defensively, it can eat attacks, it's bulletproof, taser proof, does well against knives, but surprisingly is in dog level, weird. Maneuverability, the weight would eventually gas you out and the lack of movement in the neck and other limbs would make fighting and other movement just difficult in general. But one of my favorite things about this is Lucius Fox himself actually tells us how he improved the second suit over this one in The Dark Knight. All right, the terrible plates of a titanium dipped triweave fibers for flexibility. It'll be lighter, faster, more agile. And there is a trade off. Separation from plates makes you more vulnerable to knives and gunfire. Now, even though the Nolan verse had like horrible choreography, this suit would actually give you a big boost in offense and let you get more combos in so you can move around to be more fluid with your movements and stuff like that. However, like Lucia said, defensively, it would take a bit of a dive because now you're more vulnerable to freaking, you know, gunshots and knife attacks. Also in maneuverability, it gets a boost because it lets you move around so much easier. So the scores for these two suits would be, Now on to the bat flick. But now I gotta say, I have a hot take here. While I think this bat suit looks cool and is an amazing version of the Dark Knight Return suit from the comics just in live action, it looks more like a badass cosplay of Batman rather than a tactical crime fighting suit. The added muscle padding plus rubber makes it look too cumbersome to effectively move realistically. Though ironically, bat flick had the best fight choreography. Honestly, I think because I've done so many Tough Like the Tunes over the years, when I see the Batflex suit, like realistically, just like thinking of wearing it during like a workout or something like that, or just trying to do anything, I'm just like, no, no, that would inhibit this, 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 this. You'd be sweating and can't move after like 10 minutes. Uh uh, I ain't buying any of this. I can buy Superman, but not that, bro. But let's break it down. Offensively, realistically, your punches will get slowed down a lot in this type of suit. Defensively, it'd be pretty good for taking a lot of things like knives and bullets, but maneuverability wise, when you see how this thing is this tight, you ain't moving as easily as you would think unless it's a straight line to your favorite artist booth. Also, yes, this badass suit would be sick, but in my mind, if you can make a suit like this, might as well just make an Iron Man suit, and then this entire video would just be in void. The scores for this badass cosplay. And now, finally, the Battinson suit. This one is like an amalgamation of the previous ones done pretty damn well. It's tanky, but he can turn his neck. It's also equipped with lots of F fighting, let's end this now, tech, like tasers and the gauntlets. Now, offensively, I think this is one of the best suits, if not the best suit to have, because realistically, if you're a fighter, right, you've been doing your sparring, you've fought people before, then you know you pick up like telegraph movements, all right? So you can like start to read your opponent, and so you're able to block and defend effectively, you know, dodge and stuff like that, and then also counter when needed. So if you're able to counter, and you have a freaking taser fist, like you're just like, boom, and stuff like that, and you catch someone with that, that is pretty damn near like imposing to people, where it's like, oh crap, he just laid this dude out. That is some Arkham Knight shit. Defensively, it's great too, because it covers majority of the body and can tank bullets. Maneuverability wise, due to the flexibility in the neck and body is a game changer. Though, hopping around like a ninja probably isn't gonna be on the scorecard for this suit. So as long as you keep that perfect jawline safe, you'd probably be more likely a beast before everyone just started jumping you at the same time. <laughs> and our last but not least score is... But for you watching, tell me what is your favorite live action bat suit, and then also tell me who's your favorite Batman actor in live action, all right? Let's get a discussion going down below. I, I generally love doing that. And if you made this far in the video, type batter up in the comment section. It lets me see who watched the video all the way through, and I generally appreciate everyone who does that. Like, I really generally appreciate all y'all. And as always, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. It helps it out so much. Or if you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button, you know, let me know in the comment section below how much you hated it, you know? And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I got tons of stuff on 
this channel so you'll never be bored here. But yeah, I just like saw this and I was like, this seems like a fun topic I don't think anyone's talked about yet that I was just like, I, I really want to talk about this certain thing. And then of course, I'm working on a bunch of stuff. Uh, of course, a certain tough of tunes since I just got the suit. Then also um, working on more Mega Spider-Man video stuff, but also a lot more other stuff for my channel. So as always, thank you to all my supporters. I'm going to see, like since Spider-Verse, Beyond the Spider-Verse, I don't think it's going to be coming out in March, which is a good thing because they can like really give it all the time to make it grow. I want to see how many subscribers I can get before Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out. So if you want to help me get to a million subscribers before Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out, that would be so dope. I really appreciate all y'all out there. Uh, but remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on! And don't forget, Momentai, hope you have a great rest of your day. If you want to train like Batman, check out one of my training programs down below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.